What's up, y'all? So I just got done listening to the uh, Boston Voice. They had Brian Custer on there. Um, if y'all don't know, Brian Custer is the one who interviewed the fighters for his uh, channel, The Last Stand Podcast. Uh, he got Danny Garcia coming up. That's what I'm waiting on. Um, he did the Earl Spence interview. He did the Terrence Crawford interview. He got uh, Javante Davis coming up in a couple of weeks, too. So, yeah, I'm going to be on that. So, y'all yeah, make sure y'all come check that out. And y'all yeah, check it out on, check out the real interview. And then y'all going to hear the little drops and shit like that from me. But look, man. So, Brian Custer was on the boxing voice, man. And I got to say, man, he made a whole bunch of sense with everything he was saying, man. And Brian Custer, my boy, man, I always have messed with him on Showtime. Like, he, he like, my favorite dude on um, Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Like, anytime you hear him on a, on a stand or whatever, you know what I'm saying, at the uh, post-fight conference, um and the uh press conference every time you hear him on them he always is the realest dude that's on the you know what i'm saying thing asking questions he always asks what the fans want to know and he he be hyping shit up sometimes it'd be funny man but anyways man yeah hit the subscribe button and um hit the like button to support the channel so look brian custer said that Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman, um, maybe asking too much if he asking Bob Irwin and them for ten million. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he said in so many words. So, however, I figure out how I title this. You gonna have to look at the video to know what I'm saying. So, he, but anyways, he said that Keith Thurman. Might be asking for too much, and that's the number I've been hearing. And we and everybody got that from Brian Bomack, you know what I'm saying? Big Mac, everybody got that from him, you know what I'm saying? S saying that he received a test that Keith Thurman was asking for 10 million. You feel me now? What Brian Custer was saying, everybody got to keep in mind that it's still that we is deep inside the pandemic, man, and you can't get fans at the fight. So, what? was okay before the pandemic is not okay right now when it comes to like purses and shit like that and everything he was saying was making a lot of sense like you feel me y'all gotta go listen to it on the boxing voice like i understand man now he got some good points and i think he's spot on because that shit might be a little too much you know what i'm saying like if keith Thurman might have to come down a little bit at least five six million you know what i'm saying somewhere around there because if it ain't no fans that fight, then they ain't going to make what they supposed to make. So, and plus, Keith Thurman lost to Pacquiao. Yeah, they did some numbers or whatever, but key word, he lost. He lost. He lost to Manny Pacquiao. But, he is coming over to their network, So and he got to be compensated for that. You know what I'm saying? He got to be paid for having to come over to they network so all that shit gotta be factored in but at the same time man i still believe keith thurman you know what i'm saying just because they said fuck that 10 million i don't think talks should be done about this fight because if they can't if terrence crawford can't get manny pacquiao this is a big big fight man it's gonna make a lot of noise because we know keith thurman ought to sell you know what I'm saying? He know how to talk. He know how to sell. And he going to get some reactions out of Terrence Crawford that we ain't really got before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we know Terrence Crawford swung on Jose Benavidez that they love way in or whatever. But that was, that was, that wasn't real, man. That wasn't really real. You know, ain't nobody finna punch nobody. You know what I'm saying? And lose out on all that paper. Like, that shit did. But, like I said, if this fight was to happen, if it would be exciting, man. This can be part of part with Earl Spence and Danny Garcia. And we know the winners fight each other. So, you know what I'm saying? I think they should go another go. Keith Thurman, if he really 
You know what I'm saying? As time going on, I see Keith Thurman getting a little more desperate. You know what I'm saying? Because he need a fight. And he the only one that ain't got no fight over there with the PBC welterweights. The big fighters. He the only one that ain't got no fight. Even Sean Porter fighting this weekend. Keith Thurman doesn't have a fight. You know what I'm saying? I seen Earl Spence say on Twitter that <laughs> Keith Thurman looking like he, he desperate because that money getting low. And I, I think that shit the truth too, but <laughs> but I ain't gonna go on in on that. But as time keep going on, Keith Thurman gonna see that these other fighters got big fights. Well, Keith Earl Spence and, and, and Danny do. And if you want to still be up there with the big, you know what I'm saying, be the big time shit, then your best bet is Terrence Crawford. So you might have to come down. You know what I'm saying? A lot. I ain't gonna say like. Under half or nothing like that, but he got to come down for sure. You know what I'm saying? Just to try to make this fight, if you really want to make this fight happen, because all I ever have gotten from Keith Thurman is a bunch of like bullshit. So, to you know what I'm saying? I seen him go. He went extra hard. He went hard on the Last Stand podcast with Brian Custer. He went hard. He went on a big rant. But for me to take him serious, he gonna have to go at it again. Go at it again. And, and Terrence Crawford and them, Bob Earl and them, they gonna have to they gonna have to bend a little bit too, cause y'all ain't got nothing either. And, and ain't no faking, cause everything got on the table. Y'all ain't got shit. Keith Thurman ain't got shit. So y'all gonna have to meet in the middle somewhere, man, and, and try to get this fight hat. Cause this a big one, man. And I would love to see it. And everybody else would love to see it. But that's that man, I'm out, y'all. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and support the channel. I'm out.